Level up your digital asset savviness. My Black Book of Crypto 2023 is your ultimate guide to the world of cryptocurrency and digital assets. Learn how it works with the latest projects with the most potential are and how to securely hold your keys. Don't wait. Start building your digital asset knowledge now. Yes, make sure you go to the top line of the description box once again and go to my black crypto book dot com all right so let's talk about gunner because he's been kind of under the radar lately a couple supposed sightings of gunner um but it just hasn't been looking good for him now, i know he's happy he's out of prison right now out of jail and you know he's under a lot of heat a lot of people are calling him a rat and a snitch for what he did in the ysl trial but before we get to all the information let's talk about a new snippet that was released um that they're saying is gunner actually addressing the whole situation now i'm not going to play it because i don't have permission to actually play his music but i can i can do my best to kind of harmonize it but now i'm, I'm gonna read you know what he said you know um a few lines from his new song he put um rumor said i'm packing up and flying out we ain't gonna know where i'm staying here gonna fight it out he continued rapping i mean like effort just give these ends dark clouds been gone for months and i just keep seeing these dark clouds I'm, not, I'm no artist, so, you know, excuse me on that. But you hear what he's saying. Like, you know, a lot of people think he's going to go move to Oregon, Utah, somewhere. He said, nah, I'm staying right here. I'm going to fight it out. I'm going to, you know, try to repair my image. And my, my whole thing with the situation is, man, I, I'm not a malicious type dude, right? I'm not going to keep, you know, banging at the bit of somebody. And, and, you know, that's just not me. You got people that keep saying, oh, this person is this, this person is that. I don't feel, I honestly don't feel no type of way about it, but I do got to keep it a buck. Now, my thing is, when you make your own rules, when you know what the rules are, right? When you know what they are, don't try to bend them and break them in your favor because they apply to you now, right? That's all I'm saying. Like, we all know what the situation was. We all seen, you know, regardless of what he's trying to say, we all seen him, you know, take the stand and admit, that YSL was a, a, a gang, uh, admit to a criminality within the gang, you know, and then denounce the gang, you know, and th those are three elements right there. It's like, okay, you're not actually, you know, giving the intricate details of what went on, but you still help, you still help the prosecution, you know, um, side. And that just is what it is. Now, whether you want to call it a rat, want to call it a snitch, that is what it is. But, I, you know, my thing is, look, you want to stay around, you want to stand your ground, do your thing. You feel me? Do your thing. I'm sure it's going to be a, come a point in time where you're going to do an interview, you're going to sit down with somebody, and you're going to talk, you know, about this and why you did it, and maybe you're going to say that young thug, you know, approved it, and you guys talk, whatever the case may be. And in and, and, and the back of my mind, honestly, I don't really know young thugs, you know, emotions or feelings behind it, but I, I, if I had to guess it, um, if I had to guess it, I would probably think that he wouldn't really approve of him doing it, but he probably understands why he did it. You feel me? He probably understands why he did it, right? And I hate to be the guy. I mean, it's just like, yo, man, I mean, I was always taught, and I got to go back to even f forget the streets. Like, I was always kind of taught, like, you know, growing up, like, me and my cousin, me and my brother, we doing something, We I get caught up. I'm not telling on him. I'm just not. I'm not throwing him under the bus. That's my cousin. That's my brother. Like, I'm taking it on the chin. Just like he would for me. You know, mom come in the house, something happened, you know, somebody, you know, whatever. I remember one time somebody punched a hole in the wall. I had I had a party at my crib. Wasn't supposed to have a party. We played hooker from school. We was drinking, had girls over. One of my friends punched a hole in a wall, right? Punched a hole in a wall. I'm not going to go snitch and say, oh, my man punched a hole in the wall. You know what I did? I got the local maintenance man around the way, and I, I said, yo, I need this fixed. How can we fix this? And what'd he do? He fixed it for me. You feel me? But it, it was no way I'm I'm a, I'm a going to, you know, go run like, oh, yeah, my man's did this. No, I'm going to clean up the situation to fix the situation, you know, up. And I would have had to eat it on the chin to say that I did it. Because, first of all, nobody was supposed to be in the house anyway. I would have had to make up something like, oh, I fell into the wall. We was wrestling, anything. But there's no way I'm like, my man from next door. You know, got mad and punched a hole in my wall. You know what I mean? It was just no way I was going to do that. So, that's...
that's just the kind of way we was raised up. And in the streets, you understand that once you moving around in the streets, like for example, you know, um, years ago, right? People rotting. You never know what people got on them. This dude may have some bud. This dude may have this. This person might have a gun. You never know what people got on them, right? You just don't know. It's already known. Like, if I'm picking dudes up and I'm transporting dudes somewhere, they got to go here. If something go down, my nigga, <laughs> you already know what it is. It's like, yo, you got to be accountable for your... Don't try to slide under the seat. Don't try to slide in the door. You got to be held accountable for what you have on you. Just like I got to be held accountable for what's on me. You feel me? And that's how it should be. And that's, that's the type of people that you need to be around. If you ain't around those type of people, you need to check your circle. But what do you guys think about Gunner, what he said, man? You know, I, you know, I really, I don't have a dog in this race, man. Um, I can say, yeah, I can see why he did what he did. But I really can't at the end of the day. I really can't see why he did it. It wasn't like he was facing life in prison. It seemed like he, he was looking for the first opportunity to get up out of there. And he took it, in my opinion. But, hey. That's something he's going to have to deal with for the rest of his life, and um, that is what it is, man. But like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also, make sure you go to the top line of the description box and go to myblackcryptobook.com. Myblackcryptobook.com. The link is at the top line of the description box. Go check out the goodies that they got. It's not dead. Crypto is not dead yet. It's struggling sometimes, but the savvy people you know, know how to do it. So like I said, go to the top line of the description box and go check that out. also, this video is brought to you by HipHopUN.com. That's hip -hop, the letter UN.com. That's our official website. We got mad articles going up over there every day. So if you want to catch news outside of the hip-hop genre and news in the hip-hop genre, you already know what it is, man. It's HipHopUN.com. Five years strong on the website right now. Hundreds of thousands of views on the website as well. That's my baby. That's my baby over there. HipHopUN.com, go check it out. And you know, always, man, you can follow us on, um, we're also on Twitter, we're on Facebook, and we're on IG as well. And I made it very easy for everybody because right in the description box right below, I put everything there. I put the, um, Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebook, the website, and I included, and I included the podcast, the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast, the audio version. So when you get snippets off this channel, 10-minute snippets, 12-minute snippets, 15-minute snippets. The full interview can be found on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast, man. So let me know what you guys think. Gonna address the situation for the first time and speaking out about it, saying he's going to stand his ground. He ain't running nowhere. I want to hear what you guys and girls got to say. Hey, man, I appreciate you guys listening in. On the road to 1 million subscribers. Peace.